Hey, welcome to a new video series on Shopify team development with Tailwind CSS and Alpine.js. I just recovered from COVID-19 and recording this video series was on my number one to-do list, so now is the time. In this video series, I'm going to teach you how to build a fully functional Shopify team from start to finish. The good news is I am going to put the source code on GitHub. You can clone it and use it on your own project. Throughout this series, you are going to learn a lot of tips and techniques on building a fast performing Shopify team. In the past few years, I worked with many Shopify team, marketplace team, most popular teams, or even custom team for the clients. And in this series, I will put all my experience together and show you how you can build a high performing Shopify team. It has been a long time I didn't record any video for the channel. Now I am back and I'm going to record more videos, not only on Shopify, also Laravel, which is coming next. But in this series, my focus is Shopify. And in the next video, I will talk about the requirement, some of the videos you have to watch before taking this course. The course is going to be completely free and after finishing the course, you will be able to create your own custom Shopify team. The reason I'm recording this series is because Shopify recently released Store 2.0. Store 2.0 is for Shopify and it has a lot of new features. So the team that we are going to build will be focused on Store 2.0 and all the features we add to the team will be supported by Store 2.0. On that note, Shopify recently removed all the team from their marketplace that does not support Store 2.0 and they opened the team submission also. So if you follow this course, at the end of this, you can have your own team and you can submit your team in the Shopify marketplace. Now Shopify is not sponsoring me and all the technology I have used Shopify is not the best one. But one thing I know best about Shopify customer is very good that this is an e-commerce industry and a lot of people make money in there. As a developer, if you bring value to their store and they make more sale, they are willing to pay you as much as you want. I mean, compared to other industries in the e-commerce industry, the customers are really good and you can earn a lot of money in this industry. Now, instead of recording this video series, I could accept another client and say, okay, I'm going to just focus on making more money. But I said, you know what? This video series is going to help a lot of people. Why not I focus on recording this series and help a lot of people? So if this video series is helping you in any way, I really appreciate subscribing to the channel and also putting your feedback in the comment. I hope this video series will be helpful for you. One thing I want to mention, if you want to really achieve something out of this series, you have to practice, practice, practice. That is the only thing I can tell people. So I'm not taking more time. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to talk about the requirement, some other videos you have to watch, I'll show you some of the resources, and then every week I will upload a few videos related to Shopify team development. Again, I'm going to repeat, this is going to be Shopify team development for Store 2.0 with Tailwind CSS and Alpine.js. We are not going to use jQuery, we are not going to use Vue.js, React, or any of them. I will tell you the reason why not using React or Vue.js when it comes to developing a Shopify team. And we'll talk about those in this video series. Plus, I will show you some of the resources, some of the best app and tools that you can use in your workflow and that will speed up your development. So I will see you in the next video.